Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up an EX Fire Red and Leaf Green Booster Box. This booster box opening is part of my 17 booster box opening series I'm currently doing on YouTube. You'll find a link to that playlist I've created for the series in the description of this video. This EX Fire Red and Leaf Green Booster Box I picked up off of eBay and it was $500. So I'll show the artwork on the booster box here before I open it up. Very excited to open up this booster box, mainly because the chance to get Charizard EX. I opened a lot of these booster packs when I was younger, just trying to get the Charizard EX. Never did. So there is what it looks like. It's from 2004. And if it's any indication on how many ultra rares I'll get, it'll probably be three. In two weeks ago in this series, I opened up the EX Hidden Legends booster box and I pulled out three ultra rares, three EX cards. And this set came right after EX Hidden Legends. Okay, so plastic wrap is off on the box. Here is what it looks like without the plastic wrap on. The box topper, I believe it's a normal sized Charmander card. And there it is. Here's what the box stopper looks like. Charmander. Set that aside. Take out all 36 packs in part one here. I'll be opening up the first 18 packs and then part two will be the second 18. Okay, so I'll make sure and set them the right way. Like here, and here is the other 18 packs. So here's all 36 packs in the box. Set those aside and I'll start off here with this Pikachu cover artwork pack. Nine cards per pack, reverse hollow and rare in each pack. No code cards or anything. Card tricks one, two, and the next two are the rare and reverse hollow. First pack here starts off with Krabby. There's a Voltorb. Weedle. Potion Trainer, Cubone, Pidgeotto, Mount Moon, Reverse Hollow of a War Turtle. So it looks like it's the same looking Reverse Hollow card as the EX Hidden Legend set. If you tilt it just right, you can see the energy symbols in the foil pattern on it. This one is an uncommon. The first rare in the box is a multi energy. So definitely not the greatest of first packs to start this box, but plenty more packs to go here. Quite a few different EX cards from this set, so it'll be hard to pull that Charizard one I'm really hoping for. Okay, so here is a Charmander. There's Diglett. Growlithe. Bulbasaur. Pidgey. Needle Reno. Life Herb Trainer, Squirtle, which isn't a common card, is the Reverse Hollow, and then the rare in the pack, a Tauros Hollow. So there's the first Hollow pull of the set. And there are 112 total cards in the set, in the base set, and then that secret rare Charmander that I pulled out right on top of the box. Okay, this pack starts off with Seal. There's a Needle Ran, Slowpoke, Ghastly, Charmander, Porygon, Energy Switch, Reverse Hollow of a Rapidash, and that's a rare Reverse Hollow. Silver colored star down here, and it has a Pokeball right there on the card. And then the actual rare in the pack is a Chansey Non Hollow. Probably my best pack so far. Pulling two rares out of one pack. On to the next pack here. Really like the Charizard artwork on the outside of this box as well as the outside of the booster pack here. Okay, so this pack starts off with a Bellsprout. There's a Doduo. Switch. Ponyta. Squirtle. Parasect. Weepin' Bell, Krabby is the Reverse Hollow, just a common card, and the rare in this pack, a King 
Wrangler. So go basic to stage one evolution right here. I can get through these packs just a little bit quicker. The newer X and Y series sets have 10 cards per pack plus a code card. So it's really 11 cards per pack. Okay, so next pack here starts off with a Squirtle, followed by Cubone, Voltorb, Spiro, Poliwag, Energy Switch, Execute, Reverse Hollow of, an Experience All Trainer, pretty cool looking card right there, Uncommon, and then the rare in this pack is an EX card, potentially could be a Charizard, does look like a Lightning type though, it is a Zapdos EX. So this is a great pull right here, I like the looks of the EX quite a bit, an extremely good pull. Great first EX card. So I'll set that one aside. I really do like looking at those EX cards. I showed in the EX Hidden Legends box when I opened up that two weeks ago that some of the EX cards in that set have those shards on it. Others are just the solid silver. Okay, this pack has a Cubone followed by Jigglypuff. Weedle, Rattata, Voltorb, Pokeball Trainer, Versed Seeker, Reverse Hollow of a Chansey. That is another nice rare Reverse Hollow. And then the actual rare in the pack, a Dodrio non hollow So a couple of packs now with two rare cards in them. Moving on to a Blastoise pack. Okay, this pack starts off with a Clefairy, followed by Growlithe, Pidgey, Charmander, Doduo, Bill's Maintenance, Kakuna, Reverse Hollow of a Nidoran, that is a common card, and the rare in this pack, a Dugong Hollow. So there's the second Hollow Foil pull of this box. First one was Tauros, second one, Dugong. I'll have a summary of my ultra rare and hollow pulls at the end of both part one and part two. That way if you're short on time and just want to see what I actually pull out in the box opening, you can always skip to the end. Of course it's more exciting to see me pull the cards live. Okay, so here is a Magnemite, Switch, Paris, Caterpie, Shelder, Lickitung, Poliwhirl, Reverse Hollow, Execute, and that is a uncommon card. And then the rare in the pack, a far-fetched non-hollow. Okay, moving on. Now all the boxes I purchased for this 17 booster box opening, I would say that base set two is my most favorite, and then this one is probably my second most favorite. Have not opened a lot of these on YouTube before. Okay, so here is a Bell Sprout, Nidoran, Magikarp, Doduo, Bulbasaur, Experience All, Kakuna, Reverse Hollow of, a Diglett, that is a common card and the rare in the pack, a Fero Non Hollow. About halfway through part one here, this booster box opening. One ultra rare pull so far, two hollow pulls, so right on average, pulls wise. Okay, so this pack starts off with a Bulbasaur, followed by Ghastly, Charmander, Potion Trainer, Nidoran, Experience All, Venomoth, Reverse Hollow, I have a Raichu, there is a rare Reverse Hollow, you can always tell by the Pokeball down there, and then the actual rare in the pack, an Arcanine. So another very good pack, two rares in that pack. Okay, on to this Blastoise cover artwork. Pack. 
Okay. This one starts off with a Caterpie, followed by Pikachu, Bulbasaur, Meowth, Charmander, Super Scoop Up, Kakuna, Venomoth is the Reverse Hollow, and that is an uncommon card, and the rare in this pack, a Magneton non hollow So getting down there on packs in the first half, I would say six packs left after this one. The next week in this series, I'll be opening up the next newest that I have not opened up for X and Y series sets, which would be Furious Fist. And then I'll go back to another older box after that. Okay, so first card here, Slowpoke. There's a Pidgey. Magikarp. Seal. Bulbasaur. Needlerina. Professor Oak's Research. Reverse Hollow of a Squirtle, which is a common and the rare in this pack. A Slowbro Hollow. So I haven't had a Hollow pull in a few packs, and there it is. Three hollow cards so far, not really a fan of any of them. But we'll see if my luck improves in the remaining few packs here in this first part. Okay, this pack starts off with a Needle Ren, Charmander, Squirtle, Pikachu, Ghastly. There is a Pokedex, followed by Haunter, Reverse Hollow of, a Mount Moon, that is a Stadium card. And then the final card in this pack is a Hypno non Hollow. Okay, moving on to the next pack. Has Charizard on the cover artwork. How about a Charizard EX? That would be an extremely nice pull. But we'll see here. Like I said in my EX Hidden Legends, booster box that I opened up two weeks ago. I pulled out three ultra rares out of there. So hoping to repeat those types of pulls in this video. So this one starts off with a Krabby. There's a Ghastly. Followed by Squirtle. Then we go to Nido Ran. Poliwag. There's a Weepin' Bell. Experience All. Reverse Hollow of Slowbro. And that's just the Hollow that I pulled just a pack ago. Pretty nice card right there. And then the final card in this pack is a Doug Trio non hollow. Like the artwork quite a bit on that card. Okay. Fourth to last pack now in this first half of the box. Should be getting two more combined ultra rares and hollow cards. Okay, pack here starts off with Shelder. There is a Magnemite, Rattata, followed by a Pidgey. Moving on to Growlithe, Venomoth, Mankey, Reverse Hollow of a Potion, which is a common trainer card. Then the rare in this pack, a Cloister Non Hollow. I had to tilt it back a little there just to see if it was hollow or not, just because the artwork was so dark on it. Okay, getting down there on packs here. So I should be getting 66% of the packs here. Should have at least a hollow in out of the remaining three packs. So two out of the three. Okay, this one starts off with a Needle Ran. There's Venonat. Slowpoke. Pidgey. There's a Magikarp. Ivysaur. Life Herb. Drowsy is the reverse hollow, and that is an uncommon card. And the rare in this pack is a Scyther non hollow. Okay, two packs left here. I'm really hoping that both have hollows or ultra rares in them. That would make it average pulls overall. You usually get 12 total combined ultra rares and hollow cards out of booster boxes. Okay, second to last pack here starts off with. A Magnemite, Krabby, Weedle, Diglett, Bulbasaur, Celio's Network, 
Professor Oak's Research, Reverse Hollow of a Do Duo, which is a common card, and the rare in this pack is a Magneton Non Hollow. It's a little bit disappointing there that I'll only get five total ultra rares and hollows combined out of the first half of the box. Potentially, four only if I don't get anything in this last pack. But who knows? The second half here really could have good pulls. Okay, last pack here. The first half of this EX Fire Red and Leaf Green Booster Box starts off with Meowth. There's a Pikachu. Spiro. Potion Trainer, Magnemite, Needle Reno, Great Ball, Reverse Hollow of an Arcanine. There's a good way to end this first half here with a rare Reverse Hollow of Arcanine. I pulled this one in non hollow form earlier. And then the final card here is a Kangaskhan Hollow. So, to summarize the first 18 packs of this box, I pulled out five combined. Ultra Rares and Hollow cards. Pull out four Hollows. Here are the four right here. Going newest to oldest. Pull order. Kangaskhan. Slowbro. Dugong. And a Tauros. And then the only Ultra Rare that I pulled in this first half of the box is a Zapdos EX. Definitely a fan of this card. So a pretty good pull. Like I said, I'm hoping for seven combined ultra rares and hollows in the second half of the box. But thanks everyone for watching. There should be a button on the screen that will lead you over to part two, as well as a link in the description of this video that will lead you to part two as well. So thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages. And stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.